Hello everyone, welcome back to Backcountry Quest. Uh, today I'm going to make a very quick video that might help you guys uh, if you're having the same problem. That is, uh, the heating system on this truck stops working. It happened second time. First time I replaced the fuse which was blown and it's about a week ago and you know like it's it's early January so now it's blown again and winter months I don't want this to happen because you know like uh, you're out on the trail and your fuse is blown now uh, your mirrors are not defrosting your windshield is not defrosting no heat at all in the winter months that's that's kind of a challenging thing to deal with so last time I replaced the 10 amp fuse so this time it is blown again so I went to my mechanic and, and I said what could be wrong with it because I replaced the fuse it's blown again and he said sometime it is just the borderline so if I go one notch up 15 amp uh, that should be okay so I am going to try this but because um, I trust him because he, he has been taking care of my truck from last maybe many years since I bought it uh, so if you guys are concerned about this thing then please uh, consult your uh, technician or mechanic whoever you deal with uh, uh, for your day-to-day -day maintenance of your truck but I will try this and if something goes wrong then I will go to him but I am pretty sure nothing will go wrong and uh, this is the fuse uh, these fuses I always keep in my truck these are uh, like mini block fuses and these are the standard ones so it's good to have all those in your truck because sometimes it is just a fuse which bothers you when you're out on the trail. So uh, let me show you guys what's the problem and then uh, a quick, quick fix for it. You guys can replace it with 10 amp as well, but it might not blow again. Um, but I will I will go with uh, the 15 amp this time and see how it goes. And if something goes wrong, I'm pretty sure I will come back and let you guys know. And uh, so it is is it worth doing it or not we are going to fire up our truck right here as you see this screen it's completely blank temperature reading no both sides fan control modes nothing ac on off fresh air and recirculating air defrosting both mirrors outside both mirrors are the vent shield no on off switch does not work the heat seat does not work at all so this system is not working so next step I will show you guys which fuse need to be replaced and where it is I'm pretty sure all Tacoma owners know like there is one fuse box which is under the hood and second one is under the steering wheel right here right this one I don't have a cover for uh, this fuse box but uh, I do have the diagram which you can see right here um, along with this video on the side. The fuse we are going to replace is the fourth fuse on your right. Like if you are sitting in the driver's seat, the right side uh, fuse we need to replace. Fourth from the top, it is called IG1 number two fuse. It is called IG1 number two fuse, and that is fourth from the top on the right hand side. That is a 10 amp fuse. Last time I replaced 10 amp with 10 amp, and it never worked. It worked actually. It worked for a week, and then it's blown blown again. So my mechanic suggested like there might be some minor borderline issue. So if I go with the 15 amp, I should be okay. So I am going to try that and. Uh, if this problem reoccurs with you guys, you guys can try the same thing. But uh, I will suggest, like, if you're not comfortable doing that, please consult your me mechanic or technician. Okay, folks, uh, this is our 15 amp fuse. Um, this is a pretty good product from Amazon. So it it is the all fuses are color marked. So this is 15 amp fuse, uh, and I can read it here as well. So it's 15 amp. So I'm going to replace it. Uh, there is another thing I can. Uh, uh, I would like to bring it to your attention is this the fuse puller it comes with this box uh, but sometimes the pullers those come with this box they does not work very well uh, for the under the hood fuses oh sorry under the under the steering wheel fuses so if this will not work then I'll open my fuse box under the hood 
then I need to pull the puller from there. That works perfectly with uh, all the fuses here. Now we have replaced the fuse, uh, which is called IG1 number two uh, on the panel box. Here we go, it works, off, AC is on, we can control the temperature, you can hear the heater and uh, seat heat controls, they work, so outside defrost works, inside defrost work, so everything is working. This is what I wanted to show, show you guys, like if sometimes if, if you came across this problem, then this is the way to fix it. So you, you must need a, a 10 amp or 15 amp fuse. If you don't have 10 amp, then you can get away with 15. Okay, folks, I hope uh, that was uh, a helpful video. So if you guys uh, uh, have a blown fuse for the heating system, then that's uh, um, under the steering wheel fourth from the top on the right column um, from top means the front of the truck towards backwards um, if you're looking under then it should be the fourth fuse that is called IG1 number two so look for that one and replace it that will fix your problem and um, about the amperage I told you like what I did and uh, you can uh, follow that one or you can talk, talk to someone and get some advice so that's pretty much all about it and uh, please do subscribe and like if you like our effort and uh, more videos are coming for our truck, truck upgrade with the, uh, the free, free spirit tent and the smart cap um, which we are really loving and we, we, we made a couple of other videos which are not posted yet and we will post in the coming days. Uh, thanks for watching guys and keep exploring whatever resources you have, never stop. Have a good one.